Okay, so this is me in the morning. Don't mind the stuff here on the counter. I'm having a dinner party in a few weeks, so I had to make sure I had everything looking great. <laughs> Anyway, so in the morning, all I do, because I do the intermittent fasting, I have a couple cups of coffee. Um, okay, so I probably have like three of this size cup. This is like a smaller size cup. This is probably like five ounces, um, maybe a little less. So I have like three, sometimes four, depending on the day. Um, so I wake up about i'll probably have my first cup around 8 30 or 9 and my last cup like around i don't know 11 um right before i get ready for lunch this is not a dunkin donut uh sponsored post or video i just love dunkin donuts so i had the french vanilla and i use my creamer when you intermittent fast you're not supposed to use creamer it's either just black coffee water tea something like that but I want to enjoy my life and so I drink my coffee with cream and I love it so and I don't feel guilty about it um I also put in a little cinnamon and it tastes amazing so if you want to try that it just feels like a little luxury coffee drink instead of buying it at you know expensive place like Starbucks so so that is what I have for my breakfast until lunchtime at noon Hi, so I am ready for lunch and I just wanted to let you know that I, where did it go? I, if I'm cooking the quinoa, obviously that same day, it's too hot. So I'll just stick it in the refrigerator, take it out and um, put it in. Now I always make extra because I don't know about you guys, but I need to have like things prepared because I, very busy and I just don't want to have to make things every single day. Um, but if you like things fresh um, on the first day, the quinoa is gonna be really, really hot. So just keep it in the refrigerator um, to cool it off. That way you're not gonna wilt all the vegetables that go in. Okay, so the quinoa is in and it's nice and fluffy. It's perfectly made again put one and three quarters water for every one cup of um, quinoa. Okay, so then um, you can put whatever veggies you want in there, but for me, I've researched all these veggies and they're, always, they're all really good for bloating or like tummy issues, which at 50, I get some bloating going on. So just, um, I'm putting, these are Persian, cucumber, a little kale, or you can do um, arugula or spinach. If you want to do that, I'll do some tomatoes, which I love. Put that in there. I put apples, but my husband is um, allergic, so I put, the, put it only on mine, so I'll do that after. And then some avocado, just as much as you want. I usually put in um, three small avocado or two large avocados. So then once you have everything in, then you just mix it up. And um, I use um, Trader Joe's fat-free balsamic vinaigrette. It's so yummy, I love it. Um, I use that on that. Now, this is fine for most days. Um, it's filling because of the quinoa for me, but for my husband, what I normally do is I'll take, um, I get the Omaha chicken tenders, chicken breaded chicken, and I'll put it in the air fryer. Um, so I'll make that for him. Um, and those are really, really good. And they're only like, I think 130 calories per, um, per chicken nugget, chicken tender, whatever. So that is it, and I'll show you what it looks like once I mix everything up and put it in my bowl. Okay, so this is my bowl. It's got my apples in it, and it's got my dressing in it now, and I am ready to eat. Again, if you're super hungry, like I said, just add in a protein or, or something like that just to, but the quinoa really does fill me up. But anyway, I'll be back at three to show you what I'm eating for my snack. But this is super yummy, super delicious. I love it. Okay, so it's snack time. And um, 
Normally what I'll have is like a cup of carrots and hummus. Um, I don't have any hummus right now, so I'm gonna have some of these Trader Joe's. These are um, pita bite crackers um, baked. They're baked with sea salt. Um, so I'll just have a few of these and these, which will tide me over until dinner. Now, I'm gonna say this again later, but um, if you want like other options, this is like one day in my life, but if you want other options, I will list down in the description box my, it's, I call it my weight loss guide, but there's lots of like um, options for eating and I even do the calorie count. So you're not just stuck with like the same thing every day. Um, I'm fine with that, but some people like variety. So I like to give like little options for you. So check that out. Um, and it, it basically tells you how I lost 40 pounds and have kept it off and maintained my weight. And at 50, it's very difficult. Um, at any age, it's difficult. But once you hit that 50 mark, it gets extremely difficult. So anyway, I will come back and show you what I'm making for dinner. So I wanna to talk to you about what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. And yesterday we had um, filet mignon, uh, a baked potato, but I only had half of the baked potato, and then some green beans. That was last night. So then tonight I wanna use all the leftovers and kind of eat healthy for tonight. So I'm making a salad. So I had some leftover spinach. Um, I wanna put some apple, some carrots, these are Persian, I believe, Persian cucumbers. And I'll use the leftover steak, the leftover green beans, and then some tomatoes, and then add in my favorite Trader Joe's fat-free balsamic vinaigrette. And that is gonna be our dinner for tonight. My husband, I will give him the baked potato as well, just because I think he needs a little bit more than I do to eat, but I will not be eating the baked potato. So that is one of the dinners uh, that we like to eat. And again, we like to take the leftovers and kind of like utilize those, but also keep it healthy. Okay, so right before bed for my last meal or snack of the day, I, I don't know about you, but I have a sweet tooth. So uh, from Trader Joe's, I love these or these dark chocolate not milk chocolate um these are mini pretzels and they're 140 calories for five they're delicious and i love them or these are dark again dark chocolate covered pretzel slims you can have five uh for 120 calories so they're really yummy and again if you have a sweet tooth um, i recommend these but again, if you want to check out the guide below, I give other options as well. But anyway, that is my last meal of the day. Okay, so that was my video on my usual day and uh, what I eat in the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you think, um, if this is something that you could potentially do or if you disagree with some of the things please leave me a comment down below i really do want to hear from you i think it's important to stay healthy that is a key thing that i want to stress i'm not a nutritionist i'm not a dietitian um so i just want to stress that this is what works for me personally but i wanted to share it with you because i do get asked a lot about like what i eat and all of that fun stuff so uh, anyway, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you never miss any of my videos every week. And I hope to see you all next week. I hope to be coming out with uh, my favorite like workouts that I do. So keep watching because I will be uploading that very, very soon.